Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Premiere Next. In this video you are going to get all the information related to the latest review updates of the series called Unlocked, a jail experiment 8 episodes of the documentary series Unlocked, a jail experiment follow prisoners at a county jail in Arkansas as they are allowed more freedom outside of their cells to observe how they behave. The Pulaski County Jail in Little Rock, Arkansas, is overseen by Sheriff Eric Higgins, and it houses prisoners in cells for 23 hours a day. He institutes a six-week trial phase during which the cells in each unit will remain unlocked around the clock, and prison officers will be stationed outside the pod, with the goal of assisting male convicts in realizing that their life can be improved if they can behave responsibly in free society. The men need to cooperate, help one another, and observe the rules in order for the doors to stay open throughout this time. If they are unable to, the experiment is over right away. However, the most dangerous prisoners are housed in the H unit awaiting trial or transfer after sentencing, which makes the jail officials concerned about their safety. The personal accounts provided by the prisoners, many of whom are aggressive or career criminals, further emphasize the experiment's risks. Sheriff Higgins believes the inmates can sort things out and sustain the open-door policy over time, despite the fact that keeping the doors open does not automatically eradicate the inmates' drug habits, aggressive behaviors, or social hierarchies. If the people in each unit can complete the exercise successfully, he also hopes that other units will see changes along these lines. Review Updates of Unlocked, A Jail Experiment Review of Little Rock, Arkansas's Pulaski County Correctional Facility at Night. Next, news video shows conflicts breaking out in other prisons. Sheriff Higgins's decision to conduct this experiment is mostly motivated by the fact that Pulaski County detainees are currently only allowed to leave their cells for one hour each day owing to a staffing shortage. Naturally, after spending the entire day confined to a small cell, the inmates release a lot of rage in the communal areas which causes arguments and fights over the little grievances. In addition, there are contraband and homemade weapons to deal with, much as in any jail setting. We meet some of the imprisoned men in the days before Higgins informs the detainees in each unit about the experiment. They are aware that documentary cameras have been placed in the unit, but they are unaware of the experiment itself. The majority of the individuals we encounter are dangerous criminals who are either in court or being transferred to a state prison. Tiny claims that at the age of eight, he stabbed someone for the first time. Once captured, Eastside was stealing snakes from a pet store. One of the older prisoners, Randy, also known as True Story, has established himself as a trustworthy employee there. Some of the prisoners, including Randy, believe the plan has a chance of succeeding when Higgins explains that it will begin the following day. Some aren't so sure, such as Tyler, a young new prisoner. However, in the process of tidying up the unit following the lockdown, Randy decides to assemble a dream crew to assist with management. Output of Unlocked, a jail experiment based on what we witness in the first episode, the experiment at the center of Unlocked appears doomed to fail from the beginning. It seems like there will be a lot of violence, rivalries, and turmoil when each unit is abandoned and the detainees are allowed to rule themselves, especially in the first week or two. We also wonder if the creators of the show are aiming for that. We're currently tracking a few of the most colorful inmates, but the unit appears to house many more. Since all of these individuals have served many terms in jail, they are familiar with the prison environment. Many of them rank the incarceration in Pulaski County as one of the worst instances they have ever witnessed. The producers appear to be half hoping that once the doors are opened, this potential tinderbox will blow up. For all of this reason, we watched the first episode without knowing if Sheriff Higgins or the show's creators came up with this concept. If Higgins is the source, it seems like a last-ditch effort to curb the violence that flares out as a result of the 23-hour lockdowns, but at least the notion is motivated by a desire to make things better. If the producers were the source, then yeah.
You can only image how our Spider-Man-esque cynicism would tingle at the thought. Although the show seems to be on the verge of becoming exploitative, it might surprise us by demonstrating the inmates' ability to rule themselves, even after an unavoidably difficult beginning. However, we're not sure if we want to stay watching to find out because we simply don't know. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel for the latest updates related to upcoming movies and series.